know what I paid for these shoes. You know, I could have gotten off the damn bus after Susan told me that Emily had roped Paul into marrying her, but no, no, I didn't want to ruin things for Nancy, so I went on the bus, I went all the way down to Springfield, I made my little speech, and all I thought maybe I could get was a little understanding, but no, no, everyone's got to blame Barbara for everything. So this is about Paul. Emily Stewart has been after Paul since he was a teenager and nothing good has ever come of it. Look, if they actually are married, and I wouldn't put it past Susan to exaggerate, but if they are, there's nothing you can do about it, realistically. Yeah, but I gotta try. Oh, Barbara. I do. I do. Honey, I just don't know what to do. Paul is... He's just so broken. I failed him. I really did. I tried to protect him from James, but I failed. Why did you put yourself through such agony? Why? Is it because who Paul's father is? Is that it? Does that have anything to do with it, Barbara? Yes! Yes, it has everything to do with it! It has everything to do with who Paul's father is! It did. As much as you could do. Yeah. Maybe I did too much. You told me he never wanted to see me again there. Barbara, of course he did. No kid who's trying to make it on his own wants his mother showing up to coddle him. You've got to stop using Paul for your own emotional needs, hon, or you're going to cripple him for life. Hal's right, you know. I am to blame. Well, beating yourself up about it now doesn't change a thing. Yeah, but look at Will. I can't blame James for what's happened to Will. I remember when he was born. We were so happy. We were so thrilled. He was just a little miracle. Our son. Do I embarrass you? Embarrass me? Lord, no. Well, I know I disappoint you. I know you've tried so hard to be there for me since Mom died. I owe that to my sister. Oh, God. Oh. You're such a pain, and I love you. And you are so good to me. Oh, and you're such a good person, Kim. Uh, I wasn't in Florida by accident. I pretended as if I didn't know you were there. But I knew. I went down there to be with you. I found out the hotel where you were staying... And I arranged for us to meet. How could I do that to you? <laughs> you are giving me way, way too much credit. I am not a saint, and you know that. Oh, yeah, I do. But I don't know what I'd do without you. <sighs> okay, boo. Let's go back. I'm gonna sit here just for a second and regroup, okay? Well, all right. But for heaven's sakes, be careful. Barbara's sulking. 
Oh, okay. So she's upset. Stop beating up on her. This is all her fault. Well, you know what difference does it make? I mean, I could just as well blame you. Make it your fault. I mean, you insisted that the driver make a three-point turn in the, a dirt road in the dark. Besides which, she's in an awful place with her kids right now. Something that you, of all people, ought to understand. If you cared for that girl, if you had any feeling, you wouldn't even consider doing that. You know, maybe I should tell her you're not her real mother, huh? Oh, have you checked with Sister Iva? Sister Iva hasn't told her, so why should you tell her? What are you up to? I know what you're up to. I know. Lily came into a lot of money on her birthday, and it's going to be as she gets older more and more. Well, I am not after her money. Oh, no, no, no. None of you Snyders ever are, are you, you hypocrites? Lucinda was going to tell you the truth. What truth? That you're adopted, Lily. Lucinda's not your mother. No. She's not your natural no. mother. I'm your mother, Lily. Hold it live. Iva and I, well, we, we withheld Iva, this, but we didn't you and Iva are two completely different people. Now, Iva, she did not tell me the truth because she did not want me to know about the rape. You, you did it because you want to control me, you want to possess me. And you think that holding is keeping me from you, and I don't understand that at all. Will you try to be reasonable? I am. I am being reasonable. I want you to know something. You have just destroyed my whole life. And I am never going to forgive you for this. Ah, <sighs> uh, Kim, I'll thank you not to compare me ever to Barbara Ryan. My daughter is doing just fine. All's well that ends well. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Lucinda, are you feeling all right? You're looking a little feverish. Oh, for pity's sake. That chemo can really knock your socks off. Please. I mean, I, I have to appease my family all the time. I will not be molly coddled by my, my friends. No. Well, at least she considers us her friends. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee. Oh. No, wait a minute. Better than that. A wonderful cup of hot chocolate. Mm. Oh, oh, don't say chocolate, please. <laughs> I would kill for a candy bar. 